Hello and welcome to today's content which will be talking very briefly about Glaciella regalia but mostly going to be about visitor planning speculation for 2021. Disclaimer, this does mean that anything I say here is not going to be absolute, however you can take it with like a grain of salt that it will be possibly accurate and or like a decent timeline to just go off of what we have for information. And yeah, since there's going to be a lot of quote unquote limited slash collaboration units, yeah, let's get started. Alright, first things first, Glaciella regalia, super quick glance, and I say super quick because I will be keeping this very quickly. Um, we d are getting her this Wednesday, which is kind of surprising, thought she was going to be a Japan exclusive only, but I mean, I guess we get her, which is, I mean, a lot of people are going to be happy, I'm happy too, because, you know, just more units. I will say though, it is a 100 cost unit, so you have to be wary about that, it's going to be a little bit harder to pull her, but I believe we do have the prices normalized now, I'm not 100% sure on that, but yeah, without further ado. Let's go to the pros. So she does have AoE resistance on her master ability. She can get a base of 20 defense due to her uh, base defense as well as a scholar passive. She has spirit penetration on her EX upgraded passive. She has 20% magic reflex. She has a high spirit penetration ability. She has magic resistance in peril on her sub job. She has a scholar strike ability on the sub job, which is the geo absorption on the sub job. Her limit break has a miniature AP regen for herself and reduces reaction abilities. She can use Helena's TMR for a barrier. Um, she does have a lot of cast time reduction on her passive as well as she can get more if she needs. Um, she does have a triple hit ability to break a um, to, I say break abilities but it, it's to break the barriers basically for magic barriers. And because she is a fire unit she does have a very strong combo because of it. Like it has Rain's, t uh, Rain's vision card, also has Mon's team to raise their max HP, all that stuff. Like she has good synergy there. Now her cons. She has no 100% hit abilities. She's limited to maces as her weapon. That means she can't use any staffs. No Cypress pile, no she can't use any of that. It's going to be very sad. She ha can only use maces. She has no innate barriers and mitigation for herself. You have to use a TMR or outside sources. She has no barrier breaks. She does have a triple hit, but remember, it's only going to be like based on her sub job that has a triple hit. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, she's also unable to reach the same damage and magic stat as Helena, even with the vision card setup. Like you, you can always uh, boost Helena's even further, but no one's really realistically using like Ramu or a 50% uh, magic up for Helena and their parties on the average. We're just going with that. She also has cast time on uh, many abilities. She does have cast time reduction, but she still has to cast for some of them. Her white mace sub job has no full life, no holy, no re rates, and. I just have to put those three out there because those are the most important three. You want at least one of them on the weight main sub job. So just saying that she doesn't have any of them here. Just saying that real quickly. She also does have lower HP than a BR uh, Black Robe Helena by about like 400, 500 HP I believe. Maybe a little bit less. But she is faster by about 3 agility because she has at max level like 66 agility. So it's pretty good. Um, as you can see here, a lot of people said that she might be limited and or customer support on Reddit said that uh, she's a limited unit. However, here are two very big things. Oh no, actually three. One, her unit banner thing does not say limited. It just says new unit released. Two, her start time does not have an end time for uh, the Japanese version character po uh, popularity pull Glaciella Regalia. That is, she's going to be added. There's no expire time. The last part is that it says Glaciella Shards will appear now in Infernus Cave and instead of saying limited unit which we had for specifically Cloud, Tifa, Aerith and all them, it specifically says she'll have an increased drop rate. And I'm not gonna say that like this is absolute 100% but if I had to bet money I would put like 9 out of 10 times I would say that she is a permanent unit for us now because of how much effort they put into making these seem like she is a permanent unit. I know support on um, Reddit like there is a support ticket that says she's uh, limited but i don't believe that is so based off these triple things obviously we'll see come wednesday it might i'm like maybe i'm just bsing the entire time but yeah that's what we know for now so let's start off with september leading into october so the rest of september we know that we are getting glaciella and i will say there's gonna be a pattern here you're gonna notice a hundred cost unit at the beginning of each month and we'll keep going um since we do know the vision card's supposed to come out um last will's vision card and ex should be coming out soon so we can expect that we also have velne or velni that should be coming out she is a i believe an 80 cost unit lightning dragoon um nothing too crazy or anything but she will be coming out so if, yeah if you want to pull her pull her we have confirmed Laura Croft is coming in September 22nd, they specifically told us. And we have Tristan Silver Knight's um, Vision Card of Fryavia that they specifically said September 29th it's going to be coming as well. So this is basically what we're going to be expecting for the rest of September. If you want to like save up Vizio or spend it for September specifically, here it is. 
So now that we're in October for this slide, um, I will say this is not going to show any vision cards. It's just going off speculation and all that stuff. So yeah, remember. Remember what I said in the disclaimer at the beginning. Nothing is going to be absolute. We do know, however, that Jaden will be coming sooner or later. And because he probably is going to be pushed back a little bit because of Lara Croft, he is our 100 cost unit of October. And we can obviously expect because of last year, um, yeah, last year, uh, during October, um, during like halfway through October, we did get the Halloween units, which was Halloween, Leela, and Ryu, so we could expect them. We also have the regular banner units, which is going to be Varush and L Lamiga, I believe, that are going to be coming out. Um, Varush, which is the wind swordsman at the top, as you can see, uh, wind magic swordsman, and then Lamiga is going to be a dark um, uh, pugilist, I believe. So yeah, we have those, and then we know because Gumi will do this, is that we're going to have two new Halloween units. So, because they, they do it in batches, either of like one or two, we can probably expect two because of lately how they've been kind of throwing units at us, kind of rapid fire. I, I, I mean, I'm not, I don't agree with it, but I don't want to get all that political stuff. But yeah, we should be expecting two more units for October. So if you wanted to grab one of these units, you should definitely plan for October separately here. So here we are in November. Uh, our November hundred cost unit should be Oberon, who is going to be an Earth Dragoon. Um, we should be expecting roughly around this time the Final Fantasy uh, 15 collaboration. So Noctis and Prompto will be their first comers, and then we should get Aranea right after. Um, there will be a new Water Ninja who, who is Farm, I believe that's her name. And then we also have Minwoo from the Selection Quest of Fire. So this is going to be kind of expecting what to do in November so you should plan accordingly if you can. I will say personally I'll probably be pulling for Noctis mostly for his team and that's just my personal stuff and or maybe Aranea just because I'm lacking ice in general but yeah I mean there's not gonna be much Vizior for us unless we're constantly getting more Hiroki gifts literally every month or literally every two weeks so this is gonna get kind of rough. But yeah let's head into December. So here we are for December leading to January. Um expectedly not confirmed or anything we don't know um i'm just going off what information we have based on japan uh, japan and then i'm going off that joom should be our 100 cost unit for december that's what i believe is going to happen and then we have rafale and then we have lucio coming out um a little bit right after and or before and then um we do since last year we had um the second week or like halfway into um December we did get the uh, winter units. We should be expecting these reruns here. Obviously we don't know if this is going to happen earlier and or later but we this is something to think about and or since because we are getting Christmas again we should be expecting one or two new units for the seasonal event. That's basically what they're going to be doing for Gumi side. So that's what we know so far for January leading into I mean December leading into January sorry. But yeah, nothing we know is for sure. I will say, if there are any new players, you are literally gonna be, you're gonna have to be saving so much Vizier, uh, unless you're gonna spend a lot. And any existing player who is kind of like collecting and or like wondering what to pull on, yeah, we're not getting any breaks anytime soon. And because even after this and for January, like based on JP side, they said they're still confirmed getting a Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy IV reruns sooner or later after these all this happens. So we're literally not getting a break. Um, Vizier is going to be kind of tight for most people until we keep getting more gifts. But yeah, um, hopefully this kind of helps based on what to expect for 2021 and for planning in general. Keep in mind, nothing is going to be absolute or set in stone, but this is like expectations that we can kind of expect because of how the pattern is kind of showing itself. And we're wrapped to the end of the video. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like basically my preview or speculation. Remember, nothing is set in stone. I have to say that because if people take my word as like the Bible or something, we're going to have issues. This is just something to help you think about, especially in plan for Vizier, just in case. And this is not even including if there are any extra random units we might be getting, kind of like how we got Lara Croft out of nowhere and like uh, Zazanda Unkillable out of nowhere. This is going to be kind of literally just a reference guide, reference like just it's basically for reference. It's not going to be absolute. It's not going to be 100%. And we might get surprise units in between. We don't know. But yeah, hopefully this helps you with your Vizier planning. And yeah, until the next video, peace out. Which actually will be on Glacial Regali. I will be doing a review her on her once we get her global information out. The reason why I wanted to wait for this is because I don't know if we're going to get any uh, global buffs for her and or not. Because I do believe, I'll say this right now, I believe she is a 4 out of 5 unit. She's not a 4.5 out of 5 unit. So she's not going to be a must pull currently. But yeah, 
Outside of that, until next video, peace out.